Today I'm gonna to make for you the Bramble Gin Cocktail. Keep watching on Let's Talk Dreams. Hi everybody, so today I'm going to make another cocktail by the legendary bartender Dick Bradsell. Uh, rest in peace, he was the creator of pretty much the espresso martini and also one of my favorite rum cocktails, Treacle, which uh, I'll put the link at the end of this video um, to it. Very underrated cocktail, <laughs> I must say. Do not get asked a lot for it in my bars, but when I suggest one to a customer, I don't think I've ever had anybody that hasn't loved it. The beauty of this cocktail too is it's pretty boozy. So the first ingredient that I'm going to use is 45 mils of a really good gin. I'm using the Patient Wolf Melbourne Dry Gin, made about an hour away from us here in Geelong. Special shout out to the guys at Patient Wolf. You know we love your product. I've been uh, suggesting and recommending this stuff for years. Give it a try. Next up we want 22 and a half mils or three quarters of an ounce of sugar syrup. And once again, 22 and a half mils or three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And that is it for now. There is one more ingredient, but as you'll see, I will use that later. Add that to a shaker. Give it a really nice shake. And we're going to just strain that into a rocks glass. Like that. Then I'm going to fill it up with crushed ice. I'm going to do it over here so I don't get it everywhere because I am very messy with crushed ice. As you would probably know if you've seen a few of my other videos. I'm trying to create a bit of a nice dome there. Pretty happy with that. And last but not least, our final ingredient now calls for a creme de mure. I like using Chambord and it is another 22 and a half mils or three quarters of an ounce of the Chambord, which is uh, a mixture of berries, blackberry, raspberry. So I just want to sit that across the top, floated like that. For my garnish, it normally calls for three blackberries on a skewer. Unfortunately, we're in the middle of winter here in Australia and they're pretty hard to come across. So I'm going to do just a lemon twist over the top of the drink. Just get release those oils. That is the Bramble Cocktail, and I think I'm going to use a straw for this one. Now, I totally suggest that your customer or your friends give it a bit of a stir when they go to drink it, like it does look really good with that float on top. But you want to incorporate all those flavors together. Still looks nice and pretty. Mm, yum. That gin um, is actually perfect for this drink. I, I drink a lot of uh, martinis, a lot of gin and tonics and so forth with a patient wolf, but it's really coming through those botanicals, that juniper in this drink, that creme de mure or the Chambord, um, just has that really nice sweetness to the cocktail. The lemon juice is balancing it out perfectly. Yum. Um, it really is a no-brainer. I, I, I could smash about 20 of these. Well, probably not, because I'd be on my ass, I think. But um, very, very easy to drink. Mm, very Moorish, you just want to keep drinking that. Try it. Um, the man who created it, as I said, is a legend in the bartending industry uh, for a reason. And I think you should go out, make yourself a brown bull. We'll toast to Dick Bradsell. Guys, please like, subscribe. See you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.